and welcome to the children's message. We're so glad that you joined us today as we remember a new story. But before we get to our new story, let's remember what happened in our story last week. We remember that the disciples were arguing about who was going to be the greatest. And Jesus said, that's not what's important. It's about serving others and loving God. So even if we try to um, try to do something really great, just remember that we need to be thinking about others in the process. So let's see who we have in our story this week. So this week we have people who are really grumpy and people who are really happy. And Jesus has something to say about praying for everybody. So let's turn in our world story Bible to... Yeah. Oh, is he happy? Oh, I'm, I'm glad he's happy. That's good. Our story is from James 5, verse 13 through 20. It's called A Praying Way, and it reads as follows. Any happy on here? Yeah, are you ready to listen? Here we go. The good news of Jesus spread all over the world. Everywhere, people believed. One of Jesus' followers wanted to give some advice to the church. He wanted to teach them about talking to God. I'll write a letter, he thought. His eyes were wide with excitement. His head was full of wishes. His head was full of ideas. I'll remind people that they should always pray to God. He said in his letter, Dear friends, prayer is important. No, oh, this one, yeah, he's sad. Here, I'm going to tell you about him in a minute. It says, Dear friends, prayer is important. Prayer is how we talk to God. When life is hard for you, pray. God will listen to your troubles. When life is going great, pray. Say things to God. Praise God for all the great things. When, peop when someone is sick, pray. Gather together as with leaders from your church. Pray for the sick person to be healed. When you pray, tell God first about the mistakes you have made. God will forgive you. When you pray, God listens. Do you remember God's prophet Elijah? Elijah prayed and prayed that it wouldn't rain, and it didn't. Then Elijah prayed for rain, and it did rain. Okay, sweetheart. Okay. Oh. When you pray, pray for everyone. Pray for your friends. Pray for your family. Pray for all the members of your church. God will watch over them. Do you, rem do you understand yet? No matter what happens, pray from a follower of Jesus. So, let's see what happened in our story this week. <laughs> so, there was a believer who was following Jesus, and he was trying to help the people in the church. He was remembering that sometimes people get sad when they get hurt. Sometimes they are mad, or surprised, or scared, or silly, <laughs> and even happy. And you know what? God wants us to pray when we're sad and mad, but even when we're happy. So no matter what you feel, if we have a grumpy dinosaur who has a hard day, we want to encourage us to pray for that grumpy dinosaur, but also if we're the grumpy dinosaur, that we should ask for God's help too. Mm -hmm. And if we're happy, even if we're happy, we want to thank God and pray to Him. Yeah. And if we're surprised, yeah. Oh, I guess He's happy now. So no matter what, if we're a grumpy dinosaur or a happy elephant or a scared monkey, no matter what, we want to pray to God. So before we end, let's put our hands together in prayer. Dear God, please forgive us when we don't come to you. And dear God, we thank you that... 
You need fire in, fire in here. <laughs> Dear God, we just um, ask for your forgiveness when we didn't come to you before. Um, please help us to always come to you, no matter whether we're happy or sad, mad or scared. Thank you that you receive us and welcome us back when we do wrong things and when you are ready to help us follow you once more. Please keep us safe and thank you for your love. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.